Hello, this is a video on how to open up a HP 15-CD059SA otherwise known as product ID 2YK85EA and then hash ABU so it's an HP Pavilion 15-CD059SA and uh, sorry about the noise in the background I do have the tennis on there's no play going on but it's just the background sound of what's going on in the court so this one's pretty much the same as all the other HPs that you, um, that you take to bits except watch out on this one beneath this foot there are two screws and beneath this foot there are two screws as well um, and then also it seems to be clipped on harder than uh, the other uh, HP laptops which I've taken to bits recently so first let's undo all the visible screws That's two on the front there. This one in the middle releases the CD drive. And then uh, you can slide the CD drive or DVD drive out. Two either side. So now we are into what is underneath uh, the feet. So under this foot there's one hiding. And that foot. Now these ones at the back, as I say, unusual for this kind of HP. There's two screws there, so uh, you could be easily um, undo just the first one and not realise there's one uh, another one further back. Also, these screws all have different lengths, so uh, keep them in a little map of where they. Um, came from because they'll need to go back in that same order as well. Okay, over to the other side at the back. And once again, two screws hiding under there. So that's all of the screws undone. Double check, two at the front, uh, two under that, two, uh, two under each of those I should say, so four in total, two, so one under each of those, two in total there, and then uh, these three that you can easily see. So next thing is spudger to open up the case. See if I can do this while making it easier for you to see. Yeah, 
So that's everything down one edge and the front. And it's time to do the final edge. So I've done everything now except for the very back of the laptop. So I'm hoping that if I now try and hinge this up, there we go, it's just unclipped. So I've hinged it up from the front where the touchpad and the battery is after undoing all those screws and uh, then unclipping all the way around the edge with a thin knife. You do need to use something like this. We tried using plectrums the other day and they're just a little bit too flexible. They don't really undo all of the clips on the uh, case. Okay, so what's inside this computer? Let's see. We've got the standard serial ATA hard disk here. A uh, wireless card is here. The battery, which is non-user replaceable unless you do what I've done to take it all to bits. Uh, RAM there and there. And a CPU with a cooler. The CPU is BGA array soldered onto the board, so you wouldn't be able to change that uh, processor out yourself. Probably the video connector there, and most likely the power socket. No, the power socket is over here. So the power socket connector is this white connector here. Um, not sure where that one might go off to. That's probably the speaker that is there. I think that's about the most useful bits to see. So on with replacing the hard disk. I think you need to lift the hard disk up from the side closest to the battery and then slide it towards the battery to get it out of uh, some little retaining plastic bits here. Lift that up and gently, trying not to break this ribbon cable, undo the serial ATA connector. Take the buffers off of the uh, old hard disk and now I need to find an SSD. There we go, an SSD. Put the bumpers back on it. Serial ATA connector back in. Slide it back into uh, where it came from. And you're good to go. Um, the question that everyone will ask is, how do I get my data onto this? Before you start this process, use Macrium Reflect uh, to install, uh, sorry, to clone the drive using a USB to serial ATA adapter. But that's what one of those looks like. This is only a USB 2. Uh, adapter but you can get much quicker USB 3 ones these days. Once you've cloned it you may also need to use the Macrium USB uh, boot disk to then do a repair startup problems uh, on the the cloned drive and it's free for home use just so uh, you are aware don't need to pay for any software if it's for home use. So that's the uh, hard disk replaced time to put the cover back on. So I'm going to start the same way as taking it off, which is pushing it back on on the side that I hinged it off last, and then uh, firmly press all the way around the rest to clip it back into place. And I'm going to open it up and do the same. Okay, so that is now fully pressed down and clipped in all the way around, and we're now ready to put all the screws back in. Oh. Oh. Say that it's fully pushed down and clipped in, just had some more go there. Uh, 
Okay, screws again, so back to the ones which are under these feet. That's those two done. Uh, before I do the other screws, I will do the DVD drive back into place. I did have trouble with this uh, the other day. I can't remember what... Uh, allowed it to eventually slide correctly in. There we go. I had to uh, put pressure on it upwards, as in uh, lifting it and pushing it uh, to get it to clip in. Yours will probably be fine, it's going to be just something about um, the way the case on this, uh, this specific laptop is. So we're back to the two at the front and then I'll do the two which are under the, the front bumpers or the front feet. And there we have it. That is the hard disk replaced or upgraded on this HP Pavilion laptop. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.